Here's our Python example. We're defining the um, backend for the Matplotlib as notebook, so it will be some interactive um, pictures like this. Then we're importing a Matplotlib PyPlot as PLT and importing SciPy signal as SP. Here we are defining our, the length of our future, so there will be um, eight number of tabs uh, equals to eight. Here we are defining the um, the vectors, then the amplitude, and giving the weights. So we are giving a weight one and weight one hundred. Here we are having the impulse response by calling the rms function with this parameters and here we are plotting the impulse response of the filter so we have uh, eight uh, samples the impulse response and this is the value so we can obtain a nice impulse response or set of coefficients uh, and then we can see what's the frequency response of this impulse response so now we are importing the frec z function from the scipy signal we're importing numpy as np. This is just a nice trick in matplotlib so that I want that the, the values here are in functions of pi. So uh, when we plot something um, like this, it will be here uh, 3.14, so it'll be zero and some numbers. But when we use this um, function formatter and multiple locator, we can set this axis as um, multiple of pi so here we are using the calling the frec z and this is the impulse response that we got from the rms algorithm so these are the frequencies which the frequency response was calculated now we're defining a figure a plot so this is what we're doing here and we are plotting the uh, log 20 log of the magnitude of the calculated frequency response and these are the frequencies here we are using this um, set major formatter so this is what we're doing to convert the numbers into multiples of pi here we are plotting the phase so we are using the unwrapped version of the phase and here we have the frequency response of our future that we calculated using the RMS, so we can see that there is uh, an attenuation here. Here is the pass band, and then we have the stop band, and here is the frequency. Here is our normalized frequency from 0 to pi, which is the Nyquist frequency. So here we see that we obtain about minus 40 degree in the stop band so it roughly corresponds to our weight of 100 for the stop band